Okay, what I'm going to show you today is Wiretap Anywhere 2.0 from Ambrosia Software. Um, Wiretap Anywhere 2 is not out yet, but it will be soon. But the guys gave me permission to make a little video and show you a couple of things that are new. Now basically, Wiretap Anywhere is a, a software application that will allow you to take hardware or software devices and combine them for your audio applications. So what you end up with is instead of having one device that has four inputs, you have one Wiretap Anywhere device with a couple of hardware devices combined to give you, say, eight inputs. And that really helps uh, musicians when they're recording into Logic or something. If you have two separate devices, it's you can't pick two separate devices to record in. But if you combine them in Wiretap Anywhere, you can effectively increase the number of inputs that you have to use. Now, making a Wiretap Anywhere device is very easy. You just click the plus button and it pops up. Now, I have two devices that I'm going to use. I have an Apogee Duet and a Line 6 UX8. Now, after you name it, just click on the settings and that will pop down and notice that all we have in here right now is system audio. We are going to want to add a duet and the tone port. Now, Wiretap Anywhere automatically knows how many uh, inputs each one of these devices has and puts a channel there for it. Now I'm going to clear these wires to get rid of a device, which we'll do right now with the system audio. Just click on it and that familiar Mac OS X comes up, gone. Now, what you see over here is your combined device. Over here is the actual hardware or software if you put that in. And over here is what Wiretap Anywhere will show to the Mac OS X audio applications. So let's add 8 is good enough for now. So now let's take input 1 from the duet and put it on channel 3. And that will be it for right now. We'll save that. So we have two devices and really we only have one input that, sh that sh should be uh, available to us. So we'll start up uh, GarageBand here and the first thing that we're going to want to do in GarageBand is to change our audio device to the wiretap duet and UX8. Now if everything works right and I did it all right, we should be able to create a track and you can see down here that uh, it's set it on stereo 1 and 2, but we know that we set the duet, the first input of the duet to go to channel 3. So if we go back over to GarageBand and set this on channel 3, we have guitar input. Now, you can also go in here now and add, you know, any number of of plugins that you have, you can put pretty much anything that you have in here now, and it's going to process audio as if it was coming directly from uh, the the hardware device. When actually, it's coming from Wiretap Anywhere. <laughs> few good reasons 
that you would want to do this. I, I mentioned one earlier if you're going to be recording uh, and you don't have enough inputs. Uh, podcasters use wiretap anywhere. But, you know, there's some fun things that you can do with it and useful things too. Um, let's take the tone port UX8 and put it on channel 5. Now I just want to show you I am going to unplug my guitar from the duet and I'm going to plug it in to the first input of the tone port UX8. And now we, we see we get no audio in there, but we know that we put that on channel 5. So let's change the channel here. And we have guitar again. I completely changed hardware devices and didn't change any audio settings in GarageBand besides cha changing the channel that it was on. So something else that that wiretap anywhere is good for let's take input number one again and put it on a separate channel let's go back into GarageBand make a new track and we have that set to channel six So we have that one there. We have Pod Farm over here. So you put a couple of uh, amps on the on the channels here, and you know, with the move to the pan to the left and right, you have a pretty good blues sound. So there are a lot of things that you can use Wiretap Anywhere for. Uh, 2.0 is an amazing version. A couple of the other things that are new here. You have mixing levels. So you can go into Wiretap Anywhere and actually uh, adjust the, the inputs that are coming from the hardware devices and adjust the what's going from the channel um, into Logic or GarageBand as well. So there are a lot of things that, that you can do with that. Um, you can There's some more things over here that doesn't really have anything to do with what we're doing today. Um, but yeah, there are, there are definitely a lot of things that you can do. Um, as I said before, you can add software as well as hardware. So you can come in here and add iTunes, uh, play a song, wrote iTunes to you know channel 7 and 8 and then actually record the output of iTunes in GarageBand or Logic so it's a pretty full featured uh, application I, uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, final versions when it comes out I certainly recommend that uh, any musicians or podcasters out there grab it as well thanks a lot